Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all the books that we'll hopefully be reading in September. Baby, baby. September is a very special month for me. It is my birthday month. My birthday is on the 4th. I don't know if this video will be out by then, but I love September. September is my birthday, so of course I love it. August was quite the disappointing reading month for me. Um, you will learn about all that I read, read. <laughs> in a later video coming up soon. I didn't really read all that much and so I'm not really putting that ambitious of a TBR together because I feel like I did that for August and I like it, it crushed my hopes and dreams for what I was able to read in August so I kind of put books on here that I was really really interested in were really short and a few of them are surprises so um let's let's dive right on into these books first we're gonna start with my spinner wheel pick so if you didn't know i have channel memberships you can join my channel there's a link in my description for every video or you can click the join button on my channel page you uh pay a monthly fee to get extra content from me and to participate in my tbr videos so every single month i ask my channel members to recommend me a book that they loved that they think i would love that is on kindle unlimited and i put all their answers in my handy dandy spinner wheel and i spin it so here is the spinner wheel for you my ipad is very cracked it's hanging on its last leg so um let's let's spin it and see what we get We have Ruthless Stranger by Maggie Cole. This was obviously recommended by Jen from the Book Refuge. <laughs> I know that this is a mafia book and it's with a couple that is older than what you typically read in romance books. There's this heroine, I think she just got dumped or her one of her relationships ended. She's like out with friends, like out somewhere and she like tells them how she kind of just wants to get with a guy and um, not really know who he is and just leave the next day and not know who this man was but have an amazing night together. And so her friends like put it all together because there's a guy that overhears this and is like, I'll be that person. And so I think she's like blindfolded and then they have an amazing night together and then they like expect to never see each other again until I think they start working together and they can like recognize their voices or she can recognize his voice and realizes who that man is. And so that sounds so good. I know Jen and Crystal rave about this book, so I'm very excited. So thank you so much, Jen, for picking this. I will go in depth, talk about my thoughts in depth for um, this book in my weekly reading vlogs, which are only for channel members. And then I thought it would be fun to bring out my TBR jar again. Um, this might be a bust because the last couple times I've picked for my TBR jar, I just haven't read the book. <clears throat> but that sometimes happens and I'm not gonna like bully myself because, or think bad about myself because sometimes you're just not into reading a certain book. So let's see if I like anything that I pull out of this jar. I've never heard about this book. Do I even own this book? Sorry, I pulled this book. I didn't even read the title, but I have to go find it. <laughs> I found the book. The cover is gorgeous. This is a historical romance book called A Necessary Husband by Deborah Millens. The, the title just, I couldn't remember what book I was talking about. So I had to like go look at all of my <laughs> historicals on my historical shelf and figure out which one it was. But like, that is beautiful. I love her hair. Um, this one is about Garrett. He bursts into the glittering Ravenwood ballroom like a wild man, a hapless footman clinging to each powerful arm. Lucinda, Devering, is equally appalled and impressed. How uncivilized, how barbaric, how sternly strong and manly. Then she learns he's the long lost heir of the Duke of Rainwood and that it is her job to transform him into a proper Englishman. Okay. That sounds good. I've never heard anybody talk about this book and like, it is beautiful. So I'm actually really, I just dropped it. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually really looking forward to this. So <laughs> it's all my TBR. Okay, so the rest of the books are all books that I picked out myself. First, I have In the Darkest Midnight by Grace Draven. I'm trying to read all of Grace Draven's backlist. So this is the one that I picked for September. This says that it is book number 2.5, a part of the Wraith King series, which is the same as Radiance, the same series as Radiance. This is only like 120 pages and all the summary says is the mark. Donna Ulfrida was born with, has made her a target of the cruel and idle all of her life. During the long crowded festivities of the winter holiday knows a, known as Del La, I can't pronounce these fantasy words, Del Yalda, there's nowhere to escape and no one to save her from the taunts and mockery until a handsome swordmaster promises to teach her how to save herself. That sounds cute. 
very much looking forward to it. I wanted to maybe read one YA book because I have so many YA books on my shelves, but I'm not really, I haven't really been in the YA mood for a very long time. So I thought I would start with one that I think I'm going to love, which is Joe and Lori by um, Margaret Stoll and Melissa de la Cruz. And so I have the audiobook. It's already in on Libby, um, so I can listen to it any day now. I'm about to start uh, fall classes, and so I can listen to it while I walk to campus. Um, so all I know is that this is a Little Women retelling, which is one of my favorite books of all time. It's right here. Um, <laughs> and this is the story, I think, of what if Joe and Lori got together in the end. I kind of wanted them to be together, so I am I'm super excited for this. I love Joe. I love Lori. I love Little Women. And I know that Brie from In Love and Words really loved this. Then I have uh, Secrets of a Summer Night by Lisa Kleypas. This is the first book in the Wallflower series, I'm pretty sure. I know people have told me to read Again the Magic first before you dive into this one. Don't worry, I have. It is over here somewhere. It's down, it's down there somewhere. <laughs> I read it, I liked it, really great. So this is book number one, but I really wanted to read the Wallflower series so that I can dive into Devil in Disguise, which I think is her newest release. And people have told me that you should read the Ravenels and the Wallflower series in order to get the biggest enjoyment out of it. So that's what I'm gonna do because I've already read all of the Ravenels as you can see here and I love them. So this one is about Annabelle and she could have her pick of suitors if only she had a dowry. Her family is on the brink of disaster and the only way Annabelle can save them is to marry a wealthy man. Unfortunately, her most persistent admirer is the brash Simon Hunt, a handsome and ambitious entrepreneur who wants her as his mistress. Annabelle is determined to resist Simon's wicked pr propositions I can't ever say that word, propositions, um, but she can't deny her attraction to the boldly seductive rogue any more than he can resist the challenge she presents. As they try to outmaneuver each other, they find themselves surrendering to a love more powerful than they could have ever imagined. But fate may have other plans, and it will take all of Annabelle's courage to face a peril that could destroy everything she holds dear. I know that really people really like the Wallflower series. Which one is your favorite in the series? Like, is this like the Ravenels, where the first book is your least favorite? Because that's kind of like how everyone feels. Um, so let me know which book is your favorite in the Wallflower series. I'd love to know. Then I have Adiri I think that's how you say his name, Adirion by Ruby Dixon. Uh, I'm trying to read the spinoff series to the Corsairs, um, and this is the next book to read. Um, we read we read about Adirion and met him in previous Ruby Dixon books in the Corsair series, and I think in the Rizdiverse series as well. Um, but he is a space pirate, and he like travels space with his two brothers. Um, and so each book in this series is going to be about like the brothers. So this is the first book. This is Adirion. I'm not going to know anything about this before I read it. I don't want to know anything about this before I read it. Um, I really love these brothers. I think they're hilarious and like, I haven't really read all that much about them but I'm super excited for this. The last book that we read or one of the previous books that I've read in the rest of our series it like ended with these brothers like disappearing like no one knows where they went so I think we're gonna learn about where these brothers went and what happened to them. I also want to read Ever After Always by Chloe Lise. I'm making my way through the Bergman Brothers series by Chloe Lise um, and so this is the next book that I have to read. I loved Always Only You. I read that last month. I really want to continue on with the series. This is a marriage and trouble romance that's all I know. I think the hero is suffering with anxiety and he is a college professor. We met him in book one and and him and Freya, are ha who's his wife, are having some marital issues um, and I think they go on a family vacation together and they hopefully resolve their issues <laughs> or else what would the romance book even be about? But I think I heard a lot of people talk about how they loved the um, anxiety rep in here um, because I have, I have anxiety and so I think I will really connect to this and I can't wait for my hold to come in on the library. I also want to continue on with the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark, so I'm planning on reading Stolen Air. My lovely friend Jen, <laughs> she uh, watches my reading vlogs that I make for my channel members, and she like heard about me ranting how I wanna read all the Brutal, brutal Birthright books, but you can only get them on Audible, and I am a broke college student, and I really wanted to listen to them, but I'm gonna have to like save up money to listen to them on audio. And she gave me a gift card to like buy some of them on audio, which is the sweetest thing ever. And so with her beautiful sweet gift card, I ended up getting Stolen Air on audio. Um, and so I plan to listen to it this month. So thank you so much, Jen, I love you. That was so sweet, I like cried. I was like, that's one of the sweetest things everyone has ever done for me. This is the second book in this Mafia series. I really loved book one, I gave it five stars. Um, I don't know all that much about this book. I know that people love this one. It's about a hero who's taken this woman captive because 
this woman's father killed his father, I'm pretty sure. And she's a ballerina and her name is Nessa. He says that he will use her to get his revenge, but then he starts falling in love with her. I really like this series. I've been loving Sophie Lark's writing. I really liked her writing in book one. So I can't wait to listen to this book and thank you again so much, Jen, for <laughs> giving me that gift card so I can listen to these. I wanna read more of Ruby Dixon's book. So I thought that I'd start on her motorcycle club series. You heard me right. She has a motorcycle club series. I think there's nine books in the series. They're all under 200 pages. So uh, the first book in that series in the Bedlam Butcher's Motorcycle Club series is called Off Limits. I think this is a forbidden romance. Our heroine in here is considered off limits to the Bedlam Butchers because she has caused them nothing but bad luck in the past. She is also the president's kid sister and the hero is a part of this motorcycle club. I think his name is Solo and the heroine's name is Lucky, and they have a very forbidden relationship, a part of this motorcycle club. Like he can't keep his hands off her, even though he knows that he should not touch her at all. I saw that Lacey gave this two stars. <laughs> so we'll see if I like this. Um, I didn't really enjoy her, um, what was that series called? Her like bear shifter series wasn't really my thing. I think I only liked one book, a part of the five book series. Um, and so hopefully I like at least one of these books. I just want to say that I've read all of Ruby Dixon's books. Then I would love to read Charcoal Notes by Grace Harper. I'm trying to read more of my Kindle books that I bought for free because they're just sitting there. And so this is one that I bought for free a while ago. And this just sounded so good. I read it in an ebook haul. Like I read the summary in an ebook haul and it reminded me of how interested I was in this book because um, the only thing I remember from it is that the heroine is saving herself for marriage. And I really want to read about that because that's how I am personally. And so I'd love to read about another character who has the same values as me. Um, I'm just really nervous and I probably won't like the book if the hero convinces her or changes her mind before they get married or something like that. Like I'm gonna put the book down because like I want to read a book where that actually is a thing. You know, like if you promise me that in the summary, that's what I want, you know? And so if that happens, I'm gonna be really mad. So I'm looking forward to this, but I'm also very hesitant. I also want to read Highlander Most Wanted by Maya Banks. This is the second book to Never Seduce a Scott, which was one of my favorite books of last year. All I know is that this is a Highlander romance um, and that this is the second book in the Montgomery's and Armstrong series. Oh, this is about a reclusive woman content to live in the shadows who shows a Highlander warrior the true meaning of love. This is about Genevieve and I believe she was in that camp or that town that um, the heroines in the previous book, her almost abuser um, came from. And I think like she's been abused and has a lot of trauma from that place and living there and because of that man. And so I think Bowen Montgomery ends up storming the gates of this castle and saving her and other people there. But apparently Bowen's attraction to her and sensuality stirs something deep inside Genevieve that longs to be awakened by his patient and gentle caress, something warm, wicked, and tempting. I'm trying to read more historical romance books, and so I really loved book one, and so I'm very much looking forward to reading book two. And lastly, I think we have a book that a lot of people have been waiting for me to read for a very long time. Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Bain. I'm going to make myself read this because it just sounds so good. Jen got me this uh, for Christmas. Thank you so much, Jen. She really wants me to read this and all my friends love this book and I can't wait to read it. I'm a fantasy romance freak. I love fantasy romance. That's what that whole square is right there. Um, and so I really look forward to reading this one. Um, <laughs> Tori loves this one too and something that really hooked me something that really hooked her. I can't say what it is because I'm trying to keep my channel PG, but there's a certain scene involving blood that uh, Tori talked about that I was like, ooh, I'm interested now. <laughs> um, so I, I, ooh, sorry, this man on the cover is distracting me. Um, but yeah, fantasy romance. I think this is a romance where the hero, I think kidnaps this woman because she is, she thinks that she's the one who and her parents killed his parents. And she's like, no, I didn't have anything to do with that, but how about we get married and get back at my father because he is like scum. And so I think that's what they're doing. They get in a, a marriage of convenience. I look forward to this and I uh, will definitely be texting all my friends while I read this. 
and fangirling with them. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be getting to in September. I didn't read all that much in August and so I'm hoping to read more in September but I have school starting and so it's gonna be really busy but you know what it is what it is um I hopefully will love all of these I picked out books that I think that I'm actually going to love um so yeah uh please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to thank you all so so much for watching I'll see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all